Now you see that tower out there? The big scary one? That's where I'm taking you to see the gatekeeper. To be judged. Your life. You're gonna show it to me. Just think back to the very beginning, the first thing that you can remember. Every time you blink, you're going to jump forward in time. Hey, you! Come over here! Is that really you? It, it's Chloe! Your neighbor! The only way to fight against time is to create a work of genius, which might live on after you're gone. Close your eyes now, and keep them closed. It's only a matter of time. You're ashamed of something. Something so terrible, you're trying to blink right past it. Now, the next time that you blink, I'm gonna send you back. And just try to enjoy it this time. Hey everyone, Miles here. Welcome to another Let's Play Before Your Eyes. I want to say a huge thank you to Goodbye World Games for providing me with the game key uh, before launch. Um, I got to play it in its entirety in one sitting and that's exactly what I plan to do today. Um, slightly different to other games uh, that we play because this is just a narrative story piece. And I was wondering whether to wear in-ear pieces to hear the chat. Um, I've decided to do that so I can hear the chat. And hello to everyone in the live chat right now. But I'm probably not going to say a lot throughout um, because I just want you to experience it. Um, if this is a game that you think you might want to play yourself, then I, of course, recommend uh, you just experiencing it first time that way. But if not, let's go on this journey together. Now next to me I've got a nice glass of water and I've got some tissues because when I last played this I was blown away by how much the ending affected me emotionally. I just felt water running down um, and that could happen again today. So um, yeah, I'm Miles. I do Let's Plays every weekend because I am on a mission to Let's Play every single PSVR 2 title out there. So if you want to join me on that journey please do consider subscribing and ringing the bell to be notified about all future Let's Plays and also my weekly talk show, Miles Dyer Live, every Wednesday uh, where the live chat and I get to hang out a bit more um, and it will be lovely to see you there. Um, hit the like button and without further ado, let's start before your eyes. And actually, I should probably mention, if you didn't know already, although I've got a controller for the menu, um, this game is all going to be controlled with the eye tracking technology, so there is no controller needed. I'm going to put this on the floor, and it's all going to rely on where my eyes look and how I blink. So I blink to make time go forward. Um, yeah, let's go. This isn't actually following your eye, this you're actually moving with your head and I do think that was a sensible decision.
fouls. That's mine. Well, hello there, stranger. Ooh, you're a real bright and shiny one, aren't you? <laughs> I ask you for your name, but sadly you got no mouth to speak with, or hands to shake with, or nose to look down with. So we're gonna have to find another way. See, what you'll find is, even though you're no longer in your body, your body's still inside of you, if, if that makes any sense. So, if you understand what I'm saying, um, blink over my hand here. Ooh, well, look at that. You're a blinking genius. <laughs> uh, I knew you were special. You see all them poor souls down there? Lost in the waves. I didn't choose any of them. I chose you. See, I, I just sometimes get a sort of a, a hunch, or what's a better word? Notion? No better word than that. Ah! A premonition. A premonition when a soul's worth pulling up. Now, you see that tower out there? The big, scary one? That's where I'm taking you to see the gatekeeper. To be judged. I'm gonna present your case. Tell her the whole story of your entire life, from prow to stir. Now, if she's impressed, I get paid the big coin, and you get yourself a spot in her magnificent city. If she ain't. I eat seagull for dinner again, and uh, you. Well. <laughs> no, totally we don't have to worry about that, because I am the best orator you'll find on these sickly waters. Class A storyteller, believe you me. <laughs> no, shut up, you trash birds. You had your chances. It wasn't my fault you were no good. Lay about. Satisfactory clock watchers. I got some words for you. <laughs> Sorry, you had to hear that. <laughs> Ooh. So sure, maybe I'm not the most verbose storyteller out there, but I know how to spin a yarn if I'm given something to work with. And that's where you come in. Your life. You're gonna show it to me. I want to see exactly what made you so absolutely great. So just think back to the very beginning. The first thing that you can remember I'm gonna send you there. But understand, no matter how much you like it, you're not gonna be able to stay, all right? Every time you blink, you're going to jump forward in time. Could be a second, could be five years. That's just how this thing works. Alrighty then. I hope he's ready for this. Now, the next time that you blink, I'm gonna send you back. Don't be afraid, and don't try to fight it. So when I first played this, to I didn't about blink, blink for like 90 is, seconds, well, and it's the only script just time. kept going. I'm very tired, so I don't know if I'll be able to achieve it this time. I'm touched you enjoy my company. I really am. But I'll have to ask you to have some respect for the process here. There is a dry eye in the house. Two of them, and they belong to this guy, right here. <laughs> no, really, man, I need you to blink. If I were your eyes, I'd just be pissed at this point. Yeah. This has gotta be a bigger betrayal than that time you stared directly at the sun. <laughs> Ooh, look. He's going for a world record. 
That'll be so much cooler than saving your soul from eternal damnation. I blink. You know what, man? Forget it. I'm done with you. You honestly can rot at this point. Oh, I got a trophy. For obnoxious. There were no trophies on the uh, pre launch. And just <laughs> try to enjoy it this time. Look at that sun. We've got a long, beautiful day ahead of us. Why are you smiling like that? Mm -hmm. Oh man, I'm already getting emotional. Let's go get you some seashells, what do you say? And it also makes you think about your own life. Agave. Eleven. The day really slipped away, didn't it? Oh well, days have a tendency to do that, I guess. Okay, go ahead, kid. <laughs> Look at that! There's your little hand. We have to make him do this every I don't respect you. anyone that wants to play this for themselves instead. Sounds good, honey! I'm sending it to my mentor next week. It has to be perfect. Well, sounds pretty perfect to me. Yeah, what do you like about it? What do I like about it? I like the music! I also like the person playing it. You don't blink, the scenes yeah. just play out and you don't progress at all. Get the bubbles. What? Oh, I see my control in the boat. Don't blink. Come boat. It's that one then. Well, thank you whoever bought the memberships. Much love to you. No, um... So, Santa, this game made me realise how much I love my parents. I know I already knew I loved them a lot, but it, it makes certain aspects of it much more tangible. What do you think he's thinking about? I get very emotional when I see footage of my parents and me as a baby because I realise probably solving the problem. How lucky I was to have them. I also had one of them as a kid. So. Oh. It's weird. No, it doesn't matter how derivative. big I make the area. I it always has that red it marker there. I don't know why. Do you think you could tell the other members of the selection committee what I just told you? Right. No, I'm sorry. I guess I just put a lot of expectation on this call. Okay, I understand. Thank you for considering my peace, John. It really means a lot. Yeah, I'm, I'm not worried about trophies. I'm just going with the story. Oh, uh, for, that's for sure a little mess of color. Hey, we do not throw things in this house. If you're mad that you aren't good enough yet, you'll just have to keep working at it. See? That used to be my piano. 
my dad gave it to me. He loved music. Fled his home country just to have a chance to pursue it. God, he made me practice so much. I hated it at first. Just need to center this one second. That's better. Okay, Benny. Are you ready to see something really special? I just don't Psycho want him to get attached. Richard! What? That's the cutest thing I've ever seen! Yeah! What's wrong with that? We can't keep him. Can we? I mean, I'm pretty much definitely allergic, so no, right? No. We'll find someone to take him. But, while he's here, I say we call him Ernie. <laughs> now play the C major chord I taught you. Remember? There you go. Doesn't that make you feel happy? Like you just want to jump up and down? Now what about C minor? You remember how to play that one? Very good! Just one note different, but that one sounds sad, doesn't it? Amazing what a difference one little change can make on how a person feels. <gasps> sort of like me and your little friend on your piano there. school studying composition. I never met anyone like her. I just prayed to God I could somehow keep up. I think she liked that I was a professor. Gave me a certain gravitas in her eyes, you know, which I very quickly lost. Dragged me to so many places. It was wonderful. Serious piano lesson. Yeah, sure. But you know anyone who might be a good teacher for him? What? I, I mean. <gasps> oh God! I have my interview in five minutes, and I completely forgot to feed him. Don't worry. I already did. For a moment, I forgot what a great father you are. Just focused on the interview, honey. I got this. <laughs> Excuse me, of course, sir. It's all organized into folders sitting ready on my kitchen table. They will literally be on your desk when you get in. What could possibly happen to the files between now and tomorrow morning? We uh, are fine. Yellow, uh, yellow. When's he coming? I'm flying him out in February, remember? You know, I think he was pretty surprised that I could actually afford to do that. Hey, why not? You're a working woman now. 
I guess that's true. Don't let it go to your head, but yeah. Please let the cat know. It's time to use the litter box, though. Baby steps. He's got one eye. This is called a metronome. We use it to measure time so we don't get lost in the music. I want you to start using it before Grandpa comes to visit. You know, my father once told me, when I was about your age, the only way to fight against time is to create a work of genius, which might live on after you're gone. So I asked him, Legacy. What about your children? Thinking, you know, I might be a work of genius just as I was. He said, Yes, I suppose. If you made a work of genius, I could... I haven't seen him in over 10 years. Can you believe that? I wonder if he'll even recognize me. the phone. Guess not. You really need to stay in time with the metronome, okay? Subdivide the time. One e and a two e and a three e and a four e. One e and a two e and a three e and a four e. You're off. You're off, Ben. You can't hear that. There you go, buddy. Okay, now keep a firm grip on it, just like that. Oh my. Well, don't think you like that, pal. Sorry, buddy. Turn around, L. So we can photograph you. Turn around. Come on. Turn around. Turn around. I'm just really behind right now. Why don't you take photos in the backyard? It may not be interesting at first, but if you keep going back out there every day, you'll be surprised by how much it changes. Coyote. My sinuses would be a term indebted. What? So you're saying it's a coincidence that it disappears for weeks and then comes back with a huge belly? Good. Ernie. I'm still not understanding how you let this happen. I don't know. I didn't think about it. It just, it just happened. You just happened to find a stray cat in the alley. We keep it even though I hate you. I absolutely love this game. Welcome to the live stream. The I love this game. We, we're quite near green, the beginning of the story. The sky red. We're just going through our past. What's wrong with that? Blinking our way. No, are you kidding? I love it. Huh. I've played this already, and uh, I'm actually. It took me a while to get into it. I'm already feeling quite emotional by it just because I know the context of the entire story. Now I remember this bit. I I waited until we got right I know, up to the door. It seems impossible that you could ever play something so complex. I like but this. just take it one day at a time. Trust me. You're really getting there, honey. Next week we'll start working on your other hand. Take care, Pete. 
have huge respect for anyone that's watching this live stream now and wants to turn it off because they want to experience it themselves. Side. Please do. Two um, screws on each bracket. Uh, two washers on each. The quiz said find the zero, and he just drew an arrow pointing to it. <laughs> well, what's wrong with that? I mean, everything is wrong with that. Congratulations, B! But if you want to experience this story with me now, amazing to have you here, and I hope you enjoy this. This isn't my house! It's... Fall back, you fool! I'll have your head! I just love the art style. How everything is like... Like memories, you know, it's blotted out. Like there'll be areas. Maybe. Remember, maybe the city, how it looks. Me a place game I'd want to play inside. Hey, you. Yeah, you. Come over here. Yes, Mr. Camera Boy. I'm talking to you. Why are you always out here taking photos? You know, if you really want to take a photo of something cool, you should take a photo of this. Chloe! Oh shoot, I think I gotta go. But, um, try to take a photo of me running into my house. I'm pretty fast, so I don't think you'll be able to, but you can try. What the hell? That. Quiet, everyone. Betty's about to play for us. Wow, L. He's unbelievable. My God, I didn't realize our head of accounting was raising a musical prodigy. Didn't you used to be a composer yourself, L? No, I don't know if I'd say that. But you used to write your own music, right? Yeah, but I haven't done that in years. Not since he was four or five years old. And, and what do you do, Richard? He's a professor. Of what? Well, no one really knows. No, I mean, what, what's his field? Uh, it's maritime archaeology. Ah, very cool. Hmm. But no one really knows what it means. Known legend. <laughs> it's kind of one of those professions that stops the dinner party short. Oh. Okay, more wine? I'll have a little more wine, please. Yeah, for sure. Just keep playing this. The class is world history. My name is Mr. Isaac. The class will be broken up in Hey you, minutes. look on your desk. I wrote you something. This is a quote. I want each of you to write it down. Not doodle on the sidelines, not Stop stare off into space. Tell me, what did the quote say? Um, right, I definitely know this. You were taking notes, weren't you, Chloe? Oh, yes. So those who do not remember the past repeat the past. That's right, right? Indeed it is. Though I prefer you to answer without the help of your boyfriend next time. If you broke we my new talking rule, but I asked you to, so I guess I'll have to live with it. I tried to convince your father not to buy you that thing, but he insisted. I half suspect he bought it for himself. <laughs> the little guy's pretty cute, though. I will admit that. Oh, I want the job of whoever gets paid to think of that crap. Trump. Bar knuckles. Lobster and couldn't see what that last one is. Clam, clam duck. Mm. I've 
definitely seen you next door, but I didn't realize you guys had become friends. Oh, sure. We sit together in history class. I don't know what I'd do without old Benny. Very sweet. Thank you for yeah, for all details on buying this, Maybe links are in the description. For uh, PlayStation you. stores, if you want to know pricing that's and that, um, that's how you can detail. find out. Um, I don't know off the top of my head. It's um, called a magnet school. You also feel quite heavy in the eyes because you're keeping your eyes potentially open. It's about an hour away in a town called Burton. I know the change can be scary, but I just want you to go in and meet the... Okay. So what do you think, Benjamin? You think you could excel in that sort of an environment? Sorry, he gets very shy. Oh, not to worry. If he's as gifted as you say he is, shyness is no problem. Why don't you two come back closer to the end of the year for an audition? We'll get a few pieces that you can have him start. As you can see, there are some very fast runs in there, and a lot of stuff I've not taught you properly yet. So no pressure, I just want you to try, and we can see if you start enjoying it. Just like to see you really rise to the occasion, just this once. I wish I had the option of going to a school like that when I was your age. I wouldn't be working this boring job or living in this boring town, I'll tell you that. that Ben you can talk to your friend after you practice oh my god is she really calling you again what is she obsessed with you What are you doing? I explicitly... Anubis, in the presence of Ma'at, who you remember is the goddess of truth and justice, would weigh the deceased went, soul went against a feather, determining whether it was worthy of entering into her land of the dead. And what if they are deemed unworthy? Well... You can see that ugly fur ball under the scale. That is Amamet, and hey, she's got Mr. A Kid. That's a she. Over here, that's the head of a crocodile, fur of a lion, see, and the body of a hippopotamus. Though I would not say that to her face. Now, as you can see, she is ready to devour any of the deceased who do not pass judgment. Sort of like me with your <laughs> weekly quiz. Ew, why is he so scared looking? Slightly worried about having him change schools just as he's starting to make friends. Yeah, I'm pretty sure the only reason she keeps coming here is to play that game you bought for him. Okay, listen, I don't claim to understand the motives of children. Richard, Benny has a chance here. A real chance to be really good at something. I mean, this is no offense at all. But I don't think you actually really understand what that is. Huh. No, I suppose you're right. Oh, Wicked, please. The chat's very quiet, but that's okay. We're all just taking it in. Just making sure you were still there. Lights out. You need to be rested for tomorrow. Memory consolidates when you're asleep. So if you go to sleep now, you will awaken a master. Trust me. Richard, tell your friend to turn the lights off. Benny, mom says turn the lights off. Not mom says. 
I'm wondering whether or not. Oh, look, there's a moth down there or something. Oh, it does remember from my first playthrough. In your own time, I snuck Benjamin, out last time. we are very excited to hear. I'm just curious to see what happens. you in after that I'm not even sure I'd want you at that school and I could tell you were having so much fun up there you rehearsed enough that it felt completely unrehearsed I'm telling you we get you in I'm not worried about who you are Benny I'm worried about who you're going to become when we get back Let's pick Dad up and go down to the beach. What do you say? I want to celebrate. Smell that air. Sounds like you really nailed it, kiddo. It's not a matter of him nailing it. He sounded like a professional musician. At 11 years old. <laughs> now that's your mother saying that. You know, she doesn't consider kids to be professional musicians. <laughs> because they're not. What are you talking about? Performers, yeah. Musicians? No, they are not musicians. Destroyer Tour, Anaheim, July 81. I'm telling you, Ace Freely was conjuring spirits. You should have seen the look on that old jerk's face when he realized what he had on his hands. You think he was impressed? Richard, his dentures nearly fell out. His mouth was open so wide. <laughs> so what? It's a prodigy. I don't like that look. He sounded pretty good. That's all I'll say. It's a pretty good. You don't have to open it right now if you don't want to. What do you mean? Of course he wants to. I just don't want him to feel pressure. Sure. Open it whenever you want, sweetie. Oh, this reminds me of being, uh, when I applied for private school, I had to take an exam. The nerves of opening it. What does it say? Give him time to read it. Why are you being silent, Ben? What's it say? Don't pressure him. He'll tell us once he's ready to tell us. I mean, that's the main thing. It's just a school. It's nothing life or death. Yeah, that's true. I mean, it would have been a great opportunity, but it's nothing life or death at the end of the day. We want him home from school for a while, just until this nasty thing clears. Hey, L, would you mind taking a quick walk with me down to my office? There's a small clerical thing I need you to look at before I can let you two go. Oh, yes, of course. I'll be right back, Benny, okay? Just maybe five minutes, kiddo, okay? time in his development. He shouldn't be confined to his room. Yeah, plus, I mean, having him home for a little means I can spend more time with him. You know? We can focus him, make sure he's staying engaged. Can you please try to speak a little softer? I really...
This isn't video game time. I want you to figure out something actually productive to do while you're home from school. Mr. Benjamin Brin has been awarded first place. You are not here to learn to be painters. You are here to learn to be artists. And although I was hired to teach you, it is a sham. There is no teaching art. Love that you can paint it behind it. So don't just sit there slack, Jod! Make art, you ponies! Oof. How very wacky and fun these are. There you go, Mr. Brin. Feel each shape. I want you all to take a long look at what Mr. Brin has done here. You see, he has reached down deep within himself and created a masterpiece. That's rubbish, mate. <sighs> what? The suckers will buy it. I know that lots of agents gave you lots of cards, and it all probably feels weird and alienating and the opposite of what being a starving artist is supposed to feel like. But if I can teach you one thing, it's that if opportunity knocks, you open the door. Making a living isn't selling out. I wish I had thought of it that way. about you. We're going to make a lot of money together. To actually making some money with one's art. Lord knows I could never do it. Oh, 
All these cars are empty. Close to your heart. to answer that but I think it's because it acts, it's selected the um, painting. But that's enough from me. Now you'll hear from the person who I believe was the single thing in the world my wife was most proud of. Her magnum opus so to speak. Huh. I think you all know who I'm talking about. Say something. What's wrong? Why aren't you talking? Hey, honey. Guess who's calling? Again. Talk to big, important people. People who could change your life every day. What the hell am I supposed to say? What do you want me to say? Hey. Benny. Guess who's calling? Hey, B. Just calling to tell you. I think I'm selling the house. She's everywhere here, son. I can't move without... Take whatever you want. With your mother gone, I'm hoping to finally live without all the clutter. <laughs> yeah, I think you did the right thing. By the way, she didn't want you to see her like that. She just wanted you to focus on your that was the only thing that mattered to her. What's that? What's so fascinating, son? This gets me. Look, it's unbelievable, Benny. It's like she's standing in the room with us. Like I can see her in the paint. Feel her. Is that is that really you? It it's Chloe, your neighbor. My God, I can't believe this. It's been years. I just walked through the entire show. It's unbelievable. I'd love to walk through it again with you. I mean, if you were down for that. I just can't believe that my entire childhood, I was living next to a bona fide genius. I should have guessed it. I mean, with all those little drawings you did. And your mom. I always heard her playing piano from next door but I didn't know she wrote the actual music. 
She was a genius. Like mother, like son, I guess. Hey, so, not to be forward, but what are you doing after this? Maybe we could get a drink or something? I'd really love to catch up. I, I can't believe everything that's happened to you. I want to hear all about it. Now would you look at that? <laughs> I cannot believe my luck. <laughs> you finally hit the jackpot, Flapjack. With all the nobody nothings dying every day, you finally sink your hook into a... Whoa! Well, there you are. Well, hello, sir. If I realized I would have cleaned up, I'm just used to fishing up a different class of soul. <laughs> I mean, sure, I've had scientists and a couple college athletes here or there, but, whew, an internationally renowned painter? <laughs> the gatekeeper's gonna eat you up. Hey, speaking of that, why don't we give your story a test run? Maybe you help me out with the word choice, since, you know, I'm still working on that. Let's see if I'm getting all the strokes right, the proper, Composition, if you catch my drift. <laughs> Forget about it. All right, here we go. Gatekeeper, before you stands the soul yeah, gonna be of playing a the entire great story. Man. So if you've just joined and want to see the full story, now, definitely check the live stream from the beginning. A happy kid or a lonely one. Jovial. Hmm. His childhood was a lonely one. Growing up as a strange, quiet child in an isolated seaside town. And, uh, what would you say your mom was? A composer or an accountant? His mother was a composer who, with the need to support her family, took a job as an accountant. How would you describe her as a teacher? More encouraging or demanding? Kind of like your champion or, or more like a taskmaster? Therefore, as his piano teacher, she was over-demanding, forcing him to practice day in and day out, hoping that he might one day achieve that greatness that she never could. And how about that neighbor girl? What was she to you? Was she your best friend or your first love? Music became the only thing he truly cared about, even more than his first love, Chloe. And although he gave it everything he had, he was still rejected from the conservatory his mother desperately wanted him to attend. Now from that moment forward, his mother gave up on him. She knew he didn't have what it took to be a truly great musician. But little did she know, she just picked the wrong medium, right? See, when he was 12 years old, he got sick, and he had to stay inside for an entire year. And in that year, he rediscovered a talent he'd forgotten, painting. Sure, he loved finger painting as a child. Color and shape were the first languages he learned to speak, but, for the first time, he saw it in a more serious light. He was accepted into an exclusive art school where he caught the eye of an esteemed professor who launched his work into the national spotlight. Now be quiet, follow me. With expectations on his career mounting, he stalled himself into bankruptcy, 
which turned out to be a blessing, for it wasn't until he returned home to the house he grew up in that he began work on what would ultimately be considered his masterpiece. I said shut up, you, you scum dolls, you mucky fowls. You were asking earlier about what the birds were. He mentioned that if you don't get accepted right. with your story by it. the gatekeeper, you get turned into one of these birds. So these birds are the rejected souls. I hear what you're saying. It's pretty dark. And all those in the sea are the souls that haven't been chosen yet. I had assumed as much anyway. I should probably tell you. Those things, they're not regular gulls. They're liar birds. They're what becomes of souls who tried to lie to the gatekeeper. Oh, okay. And once they try that, they're never allowed near her city again. I get to feeling bad for not defending them right, so they just stay on with me. Living reminders of my oratory shortcomings. Yeah, good thinking. I'll be back to get you once I'm done with this one. Hopefully you won't be seeing him again. So there you go, he's corrected it. He says actually, it was because they lied. So when he's asking you to describe your life story, don't lie about it. <clears throat> You're a fully bitten sap. You know, Gatekeeper, uh, well no. Just look at him. Poor fool doesn't know what he's in for. Wow, the water actually takes you up. It's a long way up. Now don't think that I haven't dealt with people like you. You're ashamed of something. Something so terrible, you're trying to blink right past it. Because if the gatekeeper knew, she'd have to dream up fresh new hells to punish someone as worthless as you. And I'm sure you're right. I'm sure you're the rottenest soul that I ever fished out of that black muck. And I should have thrown you back and sanitized my paw as soon as I laid eyes on you. But it's too late for that. We're in this together. The gatekeeper, she'll see right through your fake lies as if they were glass. So I'm gonna ask you again to start from the very beginning. And this time, I want the truth. Not this. Now play the C major chord I taught you. Remember? Come on, keep blinking. I, I, I haven't found it yet. There. You know, my father once told me when I was about your age. This. Stay here. What did your mother hear on that phone call? It's less of a game and more of a interactive story. It's absolutely beautiful though. I'm getting it. Hello? Yes, of course. This is Elle, his daughter. <gasps> oh. Oh, what is it? She knew she hadn't yet lived up to her father's expectations. And now, she never could. Let's keep going. You really need to stay in time with the metronome, okay? You were a prodigal talent. I get it. Let's move. One knee in it. 
My sinuses would be eternally in debt. What did you just say? This isn't a trip down memory lane. I need you to stay focused. Yes, I understand about the cat. Let's keep going. Those cats must have taught you a terrifying lesson that simply being alive wasn't enough. So then you went to work to make yourself sensational. Listen to him, Richard. I'm enlisting him in that competition. I thought you said competitions took the joy out of playing music. Not if you win. Would you mind taking a quick walk with me down to my office? Come on, keep blinking. I, I, I haven't found. You know, we could both of them. Bang engaged. Are you going to close your eyes point. to hear? Point. What do you mean? I'm closing my eyes at the moment. What's the point? What does that mean? What's the point of any of it? If he's never going to get any better. Okay. Let's not say that. I don't know what you can see right okay? now, but I've got my eyes closed. We know we don't mean it. I know I don't. I know. I mean, what if he heard... One of us saying something like that. I'd never forgive myself. I... It's okay. You just sleep. It's okay. I see. You got sick. You howled at the moon. At the top of your lungs. sick for a long time, weren't you? Sicker than healthy kids are supposed to get? Well, no matter how painful it gets, I need you to remember. We're almost at the end of this. I promise. We know what to do. Go ahead and blink. This isn't video game time. I want you to figure out something actually productive to do while you're home from school. Try writing with it. Well, hello, Benny. 
It was your grandfather's, but I used it in college to write lyrics. <laughs> exactly. It was very artsy. Actually, I was just good at fooling your dad. Made him think I was some kind of genius. Why don't you write the story of your life so far? And then what you're going to do once you get better. That's the story I want to hear. Music became the only thing he truly cared about, even more than his first love, Chloe. First love? Okay, Benny. Is that why you didn't sneak out with me? Why not just tell me? You do realize I waited for you out in the alley for like an hour, right? Ugh. So anyway, back to the story, I guess. He'd love finger painting as a child. Color and shape were the first languages he learned to speak. Man, you take your doodle seriously. I did not realize, but I respect it. I you are going to be in there for about 30 minutes, so try to get comfortable. You're doing great, buddy. Just a little longer, okay? Knock, knock. You're gonna be so annoyed with me, but I couldn't help but overhear Chloe reading aloud from what I think was your story the other night. I know, I know, I promised myself I wouldn't eavesdrop, but I would really love to read it if you'd let me. What do you say? You know I'm such a big fan of anything you do. I can't. Just go in there and tell him you love him. I'm telling you, I just can't. Right now. Okay, don't worry. Just go to bed. I'll talk to you. Hey, B. Just want you to know that Mom loved your story. She's just, you know, I think it was just very emotional for her to read. But I, I thought it was great. I mean, look at this. His childhood was a lonely one. Growing up a strange and quiet child isolated seaside town. I mean, I mean, I'm certainly bummed you feel that way. But what I want to know is, where did you learn to write so well? All those cool words! It reads like Dickens! <laughs> really just very cool stuff, kiddo. You should be very proud, okay? Okay. Love you, buddy. Close the door. My, uh, can you hear me? Is it working? Uh, my laptop died. When I had to charge my other laptop earlier, I switched the power supply, uh, and then it died. But I'm surprised it ran out because it was full of charge. So let me know if you can hear me, and then I'll continue with the story. But um, I clicked to resume the live stream. So, uh, yeah, hopefully you will be able to hear me in a moment. Um, awesome. Welcome back, everyone. I don't know when it cut out, but um, what had just happened was, uh, was on the typewriter in bed, and he just wrote a few dark lines saying, not that he was lonely, but he was a loser, 
he just laid there and let the disease consume him and he just died and then there was this um yeah it was a pretty dark letter and then um this like nucleus appears with like it looks like i don't know what the metaphor is it looks like an egg and like sperm but it's representative of i guess death and uh i've i've not blinked yet so i'm going to go back into the game and you can see it and it was at the edge of the bed and it was coming closer and closer and i could hear the mother and father saying he's unconscious we've got to get him to the hospital um so basically i think i'm dying which is exactly what happened with the stream this is what it looks like I mean, that is pretty horrific. But yeah, the um, typewriter, the last thing he wrote was, and he just died. Nice, nice sound. Yeah, well, yeah, it's it's all using. Um, I don't know why it's removed that. Yeah, one sec, one second. You could see the game though, right? It's not letting me choose. Let me uh, try something here. I don't know what this is going to do. I'm just unplugging the... Yeah, I'm just plugging it out and plugging it back in again. Here we go. You should be able to hear that now. Can you hear it now? So, um, I was just being wheeled into hospital and I closed my eyes and I could hear the doctor telling the parents that um, uh, to press the red button and it will administer medic uh, medicine uh, when um, I'm in pain. Well, you didn't hear the scary sound of this. Sorry about the technical issues, guys, especially at the pinnacle. We're back. It sounded scary. Oh, you can hear it again now. Yeah, hey man, it's Richard. Listen, I know Elle's been missing in action, but I just want you to understand things have taken a really bad turn here. Yeah, no, that's not going to be possible. To be honest, your whole tone is pissing me off right now. 
Yes, I understand you have a business to run. It's a very <laughs> cliche thing to say to me in a time like this. Okay, well, well then I guess all I can say is screw you too. I said, screw you too. Yeah, man, that's all I got. Hey, this isn't funny, you know. What, you're too scared to talk to me? Well, just so you know, I know you're faking. Because if you were really sick, like actually sick, you'd have told me already. I happen to actually know about this stuff. So the fact that you are faking... I remember when you were just four years old. Mom was going through a pretty tough time. Not as tough as now, but yeah, her music had been rejected and she's having trouble adjusting to her quiet little life out here. And I feared that yeah, I was losing her. But then you played this on the piano and just your little hands reaching up for the keys. She just couldn't believe how gifted you were. And once she heard that, well, it was like you brought her right back to me. So, I was wondering if maybe you could do that trick again. Try closing your eyes. See if you can remember. Wait, is that, that's my piece. How did you figure out how to play that? Keep playing, B. She's listening. It's okay. I'm just so happy she's here. We've got to show this cat some real love. She's been through more than we can even imagine. It's our cat. She came back. She came back. Oh, After her poor fur. Time. Richard, we have to give Ernie a haircut, okay? I'm getting her a sashimi plate. <laughs> what? What? <laughs> Hasn't been over. Like, she didn't even care to visit. No, I mean, it's so I don't think he's told her. And you're just letting that be? I don't know her step. You know how Benny is. She lost her mother a year ago. You knew that, right? No. But what does that have to do with? Okay, do we have her dad's number? I don't know. Check the book. Okay, I'm calling now. Honey. You do realize this is really nothing special to me. I've seen this all before. I, um, 
I was thinking about what you said in the story the other day and how I reacted to it. I feel kind of bad. I shouldn't have done that. But... Hey! What are you looking at? Don't look up there! Look at me! I'm talking to you. I want to give you something. But I think I don't want to be in the room when you see what it is. So maybe if you close your eyes, I can give it to you and I'm going to leave. Close your eyes now, okay? something new I'm working on. So you're writing again? Ah, it's just a melody that came to me. It feels good to play it. It's sad. Yeah, well, that would make sense. But do you like it? I mean, yeah. I love everything you do. What do you like about it? Ah, uh, not this old trap. Go on. I'm waiting. Well, it made me feel like... Like... Like if the unspeakable darkness I'm carrying can be so well expressed, maybe it's not so unspeakable. Nailed it, didn't I? Yeah. I mean, that was pretty good. You know, for a while now, I've wondered if I'm just not a good enough storyteller. If I just don't have grand enough words, can't tell grand enough stories. But grand words and stories, I think they may be overrated. Ugh. I know just what to tell her. Watch for her now. I've seen the gatekeeper take many forms depending on the soul I bring her. But once you see her, you'll know. Believe me. I should go get ready. Don't worry. We got this. I think. Wish me luck. Gatekeeper, before you sits the soul of a child who died before he could grow old. That means she's ready to hear your story.
You know, I never told you how much I loved your story. It's really so imaginative. And the person you wrote about is such an interesting and intense guy. My only issue was, well, I didn't like him very much. So, I wanted to read you something I wrote for you, which is about the Benny I've known for 11 years now. It's called The Great Life of Benjamin Brin. <clears throat> Benjamin Brin was born into an ordinary home, to an ordinary mother and father in a small town by the sea. His mother was a composer, or at least that's what she dreamed she'd be. So, when her own dreams didn't pan out, she began to dream for him. But then, when he was just 11 years old, he got sick and was forced to stay inside for an entire year. And in that year, he began to worry that he hadn't lived enough. So he made up a story of the great life he thought he wanted to live which only made him forget the great life he already had. It filled a new home with light and joy and promise. How he met a girl, his neighbor, who felt all alone in the world and made her feel okay again. And how, even when he was sick, he still gave his parents hope. How he reminded them of exactly who they were. He had almost forgotten. So when he was going to go, he was okay. Because he'd already lived a great life, a full life. And he was everything he needed to be, just as he was. She accepts. Close your eyes now and keep them closed. <laughs> She's gonna let you in. Go on. You know what to do. Why is he smiling like that? He must be somewhere that he likes. Beautiful how it flicks between the two. It went a bit glitchy because I think I with water in my eyes, it definitely messed it up a bit. Me two point for you. And when you meet somebody, it's such a beautiful game. You're gonna feel the same way. Thank you to everyone. And without him, 
subscribe, you'll be notified about all future Let's Plays. Why not join Empathy Arcade, our community Discord? Links in the description, as well as all the details about this game. I think this, this game is absolutely incredible, and I think it's a must experience for anyone. set thank you everyone uh, for checking out and I look forward to catching you on the next let's play much love take care of yourselves